Hello and welcome of you to English proficiency. This is Mohammed. Welcome of the newcomers. We have some fast and furious people joining our practice speaking for beginners. Welcome of you all. I promise you will speak good English if you just follow my lessons and if you just follow my tips. Your English will be so good if you just like practice speaking with us. No worries, I'm not uh, going to let you fight alone. I'm going to help you step by step till you are so satisfied with your English. This is our third lesson in practice speaking for beginners. From this class on, uh, we will see English in more details. I mean, I don't want to teach you English just by imitation and repetition only, but you know, I want you to, to understand English, I want you to use, I want you to, to speak English and you know, for this reason we will have to study grammar and we will have to study vocabulary. For today, we are going to see nouns and indefinite articles. But before we jump in, please make sure you have a notebook and a pen and look. Today we will study nouns and we will see the difference between vowels and consonants. Also we will study indefinite articles e uh, and n and at the end we will have an exercise to make sure you understand the lesson. Well, let's get in. Nouns A hand An eraser A book A mobile phone A computer A university An envelope An ID card A taxi A boat a cat, a flower. These are nouns. In English, nouns can be divided into two, two parts or two categories. Singular nouns like a hand or a pen, a car and an apple. Singular nouns means one, one thing or just one person. The second category is plural nouns. Examples. Hands, pens, cars, apples. Plural means two or more things, two or more people. We normally add S to singular nouns to form plurals. If we go back to our examples, we will see that E and N plus singular nouns. But there is no E and N with plural forms. Why? Okay, let's see. To better understand this lesson, Let's first have a look at the English alphabets. Alphabets A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z English alphabets can be divided into two vowels 
and consonants. I marked vowels in a different color. Vowels are five. A, E, I, O, and U. The rest are consonants. So all the rest are consonants like B, C, D, G, J, F, L, M. So all, all the rest that are consonants. So if you remove the five means five of the vowels, all the rest are consonants. I repeat, vowels are five. A, E, O, U, and I. Okay, now let's go back and see the, the indefinite articles, E and N. We use E with consonant sounds. So means we use E with consonants. Means the word should start with a consonant. Example, a book, a, a car, a computer, a mobile phone. All of these words start with consonants. Let's have more examples like sentences. This is a book. This is a book. I do not have a computer. This is not a mobile phone. It is a tablet. On the other hand, we use N with vowels. Means the word should, should start with a vowel. Examples. An umbrella, an eraser, an elephant. Okay, let's have more examples. It is raining. I need an umbrella. This is an egg. In fact, a uh, and an are the same means a equals n. Easy. The only difference is that a is used with consonants and n is used with vowels. But now let's see rule number three, which is the most important one in our lesson. A and n means both a and n are used only with singular nouns. Examples. Please give me a pen. If you notice, here pen is a singular noun. It is one pen, just one, one pen. And it is a singular noun, means one thing. And it starts with a consonant. Therefore, we put a, a pen. Please give me a pen. Okay, now let's have another example that, that like illustrates an. Look, an elephant. Again, if you notice, an elephant, elephant is a singular noun that starts with E. E is a vowel, therefore we put an, an elephant. We don't use a and an with plurals and adjectives. Let's have examples. I have, I have a pants. This is false. Why? Because we simply do not use indefinite articles a and an with plurals. So we cannot say, we cannot say I have a pants. The correct is you say, I have a pen with singular noun or I have pens. Look, an elephant. This is also false. Why? Because 
Elephant is plural and we cannot use a uh, and an with plural. If you remember, I said we do not use a uh, and an with adjectives. Okay, let's see. She is a uh, beautiful. That is false. Why? Because we do not use a uh, and an with adjectives. Therefore, we say she is beautiful. Got it? Good job. But there is a case in which we use a uh, and an with adjectives. How? Let's see. She is a uh, beautiful. We said that is false. She is a beautiful girl. Is this sentence true or false? It is true. Why? Because both, both a uh, and the adjective modify the singular noun. The singular noun is girl. So, who is the beautiful? The girl. The girl, she is a beautiful girl. He is a tall man. But wait, 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 wait. They are a beautiful girls. Is this sentence true or false? It is false. Not true. Why? Because we cannot use a uh, and an with plurals. Don't you remember the first rule? Well, this is all about nouns and indefinite articles. Please, before we can come to the end of our session, let's have an exercise together to make sure you understand. Okay, good job. Let's go. Exercise. Complete one to five with a or an. Number one. It's camera. Number two. This is envelope. Number three. I have computer. Number four. I need taxi. Number five. Do you want apple? You can pause the video to do the exercise. Now, let's correct. Number one. It's a camera. Number two. This is an envelope. Number three, I have a computer. Number four, I need a taxi. Number five, do you want an apple? Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, come to the end of our class. Uh, please do not hesitate to write your questions and your comments. I will be so happy to, to hear from you and to respond to you to answer your questions, to help you with your English as I promise, I will walk you step by step until you are so satisfied with, uh, with your English. And please do not, I do not need to remind you to, to subscribe to my channel and to activate the bell so that you can see all my upcoming videos. And please, if you like my lessons and if you, if you, if you enjoy practicing speaking with us, Please do not hesitate to share with your friends, to hit like, and please uh, be good and do well. Take good care of yourself. Be safe and happy Ramadan for all Muslims around the world. And well, bye-bye.